Hi, my name is Dr. Alexander Swistel. I'm a surgeon here at Weill Cornell Medical Center. My, my special interest is breast cancer surgery. The kind of patients that we see at the breast center here are comprised mainly of those patients who are diagnosed with breast cancer and are seeking treatment. We also see patients who will be identified as being high risk for developing breast cancer in the future, so we have a high risk program as well. Those are the kind of patients that are seen for follow-up visits, and it's really as part of a multidisciplinary team approach that's done here at Weill Cornell. Well, one of the things that makes our program here at Weill Cornell quite unique is that we've actually been able to establish newer methods of surgical care that don't require radical approaches. Some of the techniques that we have employed are, are ones that many of members of my team, as well as myself, have actually pioneered. The days of radical surgery for breast cancer have diminished, mainly because people are now coming in with smaller amounts of disease, mammograms are finding things smaller, breast self-awareness has been uh, a major input in terms of the public's understanding that when they have a problem, they come and seek attention sooner than later. The surgical techniques have been around for years. You can either decide to use the same techniques that you were taught and continue, and that's fine, and there's nothing wrong with that concept. Or you can say to yourself, there's got to be a better way to do this. How can we make it better? How can we improve what we're doing? So one of the things that makes us unique is that from the very beginning, we're working with plastic surgeons. They're involved in the decision of where the incision goes and how to make the scar virtually disappear so that not only is the patient cured, but the patient also feels well about herself. She can continue a normal life. She does not feel inhibited because of the surgery that she's been through. I'm excited about this development here at Wild Cornell for two reasons. Mainly, first, first reason, of course, is that the patient benefits from this approach. Second reason is we have to tell other surgeons about this. We have to educate other surgeons about how wonderful this technique is for their patients.